We started Alamy because we thought there was an amazing business opportunity to create something that didn't exist, to bring pictures to market that otherwise would not be seen by picture buyers. Uh, and we didn't start it to give away most of its profit. It just worked out that we were more successful than we had ever dreamed and that that's given us the opportunity to pursue some of these things. That must make you very proud. Well, I think there's some research to suggest that people who give away most of their money are happier than those that don't. One of the things that is less known about us is that since 2006, the year in which we started making some serious profit in the business, 89% of all operating profit from Alamy has gone into medical research. That's gone into uh, therapeutic cancer vaccines and DNA repair in uh, neurons. And the extra interesting thing about that is that the lab that's doing this research is a community interest non-profit organization running underneath Alamy headquarters. So this lab you see here is part of our building and was set up and is managed by Alamy's inventor and chairman Mike Fisher. The other thing that we're very interested in is our impacts on the environment and for those emissions we can't do anything about like flying although Iceland's kindly taken care of that for us in recent days, uh, we have been running a carbon offset scheme of our own. We've been doing carbon offsetting since about 2004, but more recently we decided to take it in-house and do it in a way that we can really measure and have confidence in. So this year we're buying 2,500 of these solar-powered flashlights you see here on the left from an amazing company called Sunlight Solar in the US, which retail for about $39 each. And we're, we're buying these to replace kerosene burning lamps which are used to light homes in low income families in developing countries. And so if you add up the two and a half thousand lamps we bought this year and you work out how much CO2 you save over the lifetime of the batteries that are inside them, they come with rechargeable batteries that charge in the day, and discharge at night. Well after a number of years you have to replace them. So over the period of that uh, rechargeable battery, which is about three years, we estimate we're going to save about nearly 900 tonnes of CO2. That is approximately the amount of CO2 you emit if you had a fully loaded 747 and you flew it from New York to London and back again. So all this stuff is very good, but the reason for today's event is to celebrate our new site. We've got a new homepage and a new search engine that will transform the way picture buyers find Im images on Alamy. We've got a site that's faster than all of our major rivals with more pictures than most of our competitors and a search engine uh, and a price point for every picture buyer. Thank you very much. Uh, I do have one AOB that I forgot, <coughs> I forgot to mention is that we do have one of the lights here to show you and there's one for each of you on your way out today. Uh, and I do need to give a quick demonstration because uh, they have, <laughs> they, they, they have uh, a setting on them which may lead you to think they're broken. Which is, uh, the way they work is one press is a wide lantern light and then a two and a three is a weaker setting so the burn time is longer. And then the fourth setting is a narrow focus beam and again three settings of those. Now the thing that might lead you to think it's broken is that if you've got it switched on and you show it to daylight, it switches off. I'm trying to give you a, a demo here. There you go. That's to stop it discharging if, you, if it was on when it ran out of batteries. So you can only impress your friends with it in the dark. <laughs> Thank you.